What's up everybody? BC here, making another video today. I've gotten away from making real estate specific videos, so I'm gonna release a few regarding that, okay? First off, my door knocking audio and video series will be out very soon. Keep a lookout. I'm gonna have a limited supply when I start, and as soon as I sell out of the limited supply, I'm gonna raise the price, okay? Just to give you a heads up. So, when it comes to door knocking, of course, I'm known for being the door knocker here in California, Southern California, and I get a lot of questions. So, I'm gonna go over two questions today that I normally get. Number one is, what do I leave at the door for somebody who doesn't answer, and I'm just out door knocking, what material do I leave at the door or for that person? And number two, what, I, what do I do with leads, okay? Very simple responses, and I'll get right into it. Number one, the material, keep it simple, okay? People believe that, oh, if I put together the, this magic flyer and I have a super call to action with a bunch of NLP thrown into it, it's gonna work, that's BS. Most of the stuff you leave at somebody's door is trash. I'll say it again. Most of the stuff you leave at people's door is trash, okay? If you have some fancy newsletter, some fancy flyer, people aren't gonna pick it up and post it up on their refrigerator. They don't care. Nobody gives a shit, okay? <laughs> Keep it simple. I do a basic listing flyer if I'm promoting a listing in the area that's mine, or I leave a business card. Simple. I know most people are probably gonna throw it away, whatever. My whole goal is Toma, top of mind awareness. I want people to see my signs, I want people to see my face. That's the point. I don't count on them holding or keeping a particular um, material or flyer or whatever it is that I leave. Now, if you mail, that's something different. You can create um, you know, a different kind of letter that you want to write because that's completely different. I'm talking about if you're just knocking on the door and what you leave, okay? Keep it simple, business card or a basic flyer. Stop overthinking it. For all you analyticals out there, I know you're gonna take two weeks to prepare to go door knocking. Cut the BS, get to work, okay? Moving on. Number two, leads. So I knock on a door, or you knock on a door, you get somebody who's interested, and what do you do now? Number one, you have to categorize or define what a lead is for you. I'm gonna repeat that. You need to define what a lead is for you, okay? For me, it's someone who's gonna sell a home or buy a home in 30 days or less, period. If they're three months out, they go in my sphere of influence or what I call personal circle, okay? And that is its own system. I'm not gonna get into the details about it, okay? So for me, it's 30 days or less, it's a lead. So let's say, for example, I get somebody who's gonna sell three months from now. BC, what would you do? Simple. I put it in my personal circle. I immediately would give them a call probably that day or the next day and say, hey, it's Brian, just want to touch base, this is my number. Hey, when you guys are ready, let me know. Boom. So I would call them once a month because they would be in my A team in my personal circle. Now, once it clicks that they're 30 days out, they go in my lead folder. And guess what? I'm going to start calling them. Now, at that point, they're a warm lead, so I'm going to call them once a week. Now, when they're within 10 to 14 days of making a decision, they go in my hot lead folder, so I see them every day and I'll judge it based on how I feel. If I feel like I should call them every day, I'm gonna do it. If I feel I should call them every two or three days, I'm gonna do that. Trust your gut. If you look at them and you think, look at the paper, your lead sheet, and you say, ah, these people are gonna do something, give them a call. Trust your instinct on that one, okay? You might be a little bit scared or uncomfortable, that's great, that's a great sign that they're probably gonna do something, and you need to pick up the phone. You must pick it up, okay? So that's two basic questions answered. I'm gonna make more videos. I wanted to keep this one short and sweet. Remember, when it comes to material, don't overthink it. Keep it short, keep it sweet. And when it comes to, to the lead, you need to define it and then work your own system. I give you one example, all right? So like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, guys. I know it's, it's getting big. I appreciate the support. I'm gonna keep these videos coming. Look forward to seeing a few more real estate related videos because I know a lot of people following me are in the real estate industry. Okay, so you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next video.